Welcome to our 12 Days of Christmas nail art series featuring me, Talia, from Talia's Nail Tales. And me, from Sarah's Nail Secrets. We had so much fun doing this series last year that we're doing it again with 12 new themes. Be sure to check the description box below for links to last year's videos. Let's get started. To start this set, I've already filed down her past set and repaired a broken nail. And now I'm coming in with Light Elegance Cool Gel, and this will be the gel I'll be using to build these nails. So the brush I'm using here is from Egoista, and it's their gel brush. And I absolutely love this brush. I use it in every gel tutorial. It's my favorite so far. So I'm just coming in and I'm applying a really thin coat near the cuticle area and just covering the whole nail with this and I will be embedding some gel colors. After curing that, I'm coming in with Vanilla Bean. This is from Light Elegance. This is a really pretty off-white kind of nudie white color. When it's placed on the nail, it's a little bit whiter than it looks in the pot. It looks definitely more taupey nude in the pot, but in person, it's more like an ivory. So I'm just coming in and I'm pushing that near the cuticle area and I'm kind of just floating that down the nail slightly. And then I'm just gonna paint this on the nail and I'm just going to build this color up to try to cover up some of that blue. So once I've applied that one layer, I'm just coming in and applying a little bit more. I haven't cured this yet. I'm just trying to fill in the color, make it even before curing and trying to cover up that blue. So I'm doing each nail one at a time. So I did cure that. And now I'm coming in and applying the same color to the ring finger. When I'm doing gel nails, I really like to try to get my cuticle nice and even before doing anything else. So you really wanna work your cuticle bead first and really get it nice and flush into the cuticle area and try to make an even cuticle. And then I'm just coming in here with the corner of my brush and trying to fill it into that blue. I couldn't get all the color off this time, so I have to try to cover it up now with this really light color. So I haven't cured that yet, and I'm just coming in and applying a little bit more. So now I'm coming in and I'm just building that color up because it wasn't completely opaque yet. In the end, it really won't matter because I am gonna be covering this nail with some stamps and stuff anyway, but I just like to be particular and try to get most of the color covered before finishing. So I'm just kind of painting this on, trying to get full coverage while keeping it nice and even. I'm gonna be coming in with Fur and Dames. So this is a beautiful brown, kind of a metallic shimmery brown. I'm gonna be using this on her pinky, her pointer finger, and her thumb. This color is so nice. I absolutely love the shimmery kind of metallic colors from Light Elegance. They're amazing and really nice to work with as well. So again, I'm just applying it near the cuticle area and then I am kind of painting this color down the nail. I will be applying two coats on this color as well. And again, I did cure that pinky before coming into the pointer finger and then worked on her other hand as well. So when I'm doing gel, I like to move back and forth that way that there's no way that the gel can slide around or she can get fluff on it or anything. I like to cure each finger at a time. That's just how I do gel. But when I do acrylic, I usually stick with the one hand. It just depends on what I'm doing. And again, I gave that a cure and now I'm coming in to apply a second coat and really build that color up. It's such a beautiful color, but in the end, I am applying stamps on this whole design. So this color is just for the background. It's gonna be pretty much completely covered up, so it doesn't have to be perfect. After all the color has been applied and cured, now I'm coming in to build the nails. So here I'm using the cool gel still, and I'm applying a thin slip layer. So this layer will be put down first, and then I'll put my builder bead on top, and then I'll just help the gel go where it needs to go. 
and be a little bit easier. So now I'm coming in with that big builder bead and I start near the cuticle area and then I kind of work it down the nail from the right to the left and back and forth. So cool gel is actually kind of hot. So I do have my client flip her hand upside down and it helps the product self level right in the center. And then I have her stick her hand in the light and flash cure it a few times before giving it a full cure. After all 10 nails are done and cured, now I'm coming in and I'm going to be hand filing these. So you guys can skip ahead if you don't care to watch the hand filing, but some people do want me to leave that in. So you can skip ahead to the decorations if you'd like. And if not, I start at the sidewalls and I make sure to get my shaping the way I want it. And then I go over the nail to sort of debulk it while also keeping my shape. So I absolutely love doing almond nails with gel. I find it a little bit easier than doing coffin shape. So if you are struggling to do gel nails maybe try the almond shape until you get good flow and then move on to some more difficult shapes like coffin shape so now i like to go up and down right at the tip trying to thin that out while keeping the bulk right at the top where the apex is and i go back and forth over the side walls to thin them out and debulk the nail just a little bit more than normal because i didn't debulk them with a uh, e-file first For the design, I'm starting off with this Bundle Monster stamp number 407 and my Clear Jelly Stamper number 42 gray. And I actually had decided to do a lighter gray first because of this photo, which was my Pinterest inspiration. But I practiced it on a practice tip and it looked too much like the same color and the deer wasn't really showing up that well. So now I'm coming in with Cure Skies No Wipe Top Coat and I did cure this and then I buffed it lightly and that way when you do a stamp on top, if you make a mistake, you can just wipe it off without destroying the entire design and having to redo everything. For the deer design, I'm using this new Christmas plate called Merry Christmas My Deer from Clear Jelly Stamper and this light gray number 15. And I'm just coming in and I applied the deer to start, but then I realized that you could see too much of the background so I did just redo the deer twice to make it more a pig. Brown I'm coming in with is also from Clear Jelly Stamper number 31 and I'm just doing the tiny details so this adds the ears and the horns and stuff. It really makes a difference. I really love the layered stamping plates. Then to outline the deer I'm using number 01. This is just the plain black Clear Jelly Stamper stamping polish and I'm just coming in and finishing off that deer giving it all that detail with the black. And how cute is that? And I just repeated the process I used to use this different deer down at the bottom. And like I said, if you make any mistakes, you can literally just wipe it off because your background will stay in place. Before finishing off my design, I did use my Beamy Matte Top Coat over top of these two nails. The reason I did that now was because my Beamy Matte Top Coat is UV only and so I had to cure it in a UV light. So normally I use my Kira Sky LED lamps, 
but I just wanted her to quickly cure these nails while I was working on the other hand. So that's why I did that now. I'm coming in with this beautiful red number 33 from Clear Jelly Stamper and this Beauty Big Bang number five plate. It's kind of a Christmas plate with this plaid. And I'm just double stamping the red and number 15 that I used on the deer to kind of tie the colors in together. So now I'm coming in and applying Ugly Duckling Stick It Glue. And I'm just applying one of these little circle jewel things that I got from Beamy Beauty Box and then right in the center I'm adding some crystals from Crystal Princess. So you can use my code this month Sarah10 and you'll get 10% off your crystals. So after I've cured my crystals into place now I'm coming in with my Cure Sky No Wipe Top Coat and I'm just making the plaid nail shiny. So I got a mix of the matte and the shiny and I give that a cure and here's the finished design. So I really, really love this set. I love the plaid so much with the metallic underneath and the metallic red. I, I really love this design. I was actually really scared to do the woodland design because I wasn't sure what I was gonna do, but I think these turned out one of my favorite ones so far. So thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out Talia's design, which is this really fun winter design and she also incorporated plaid. So I will leave her in the description box. So don't forget to check that out as well. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.